this is the Tamiya FW190 that I used for the decaling, uh, the modeling with de decals video. And you can see that I've done quite a bit more work on it. Um, one thing to keep in mind here is that uh, I'm going to add things and these little touches can make dramatic differences in the final appearance of the model. Again, I try to avoid the appearance of doing magic, but sometimes uh, it's just going to look like a magic trick. Um, speaking of magic tricks, um, I have the photograph that I used that I'm trying to match with this model. Um, and through the magic of... <laughs> oh, well, in this case, it's... Uh, the magic of OBS Studio. I'm going to zip on over here and we're going to take a look at that photo. Now you can kind of see what I've been trying to do is um, get the uh, model to morph into the photo. <laughs> and I have no idea why I decided to do that, but anyway, <laughs> you can see that it, it's not too bad, but there are some things about it that are definitely wacky. Um, I don't know what's going on with this photo. I don't know how it was taken. It's it's something. It's trying to get these two things to to uh, to match up is uh, was quite a task. Anyway, here's the original photo. It's uh, taken at a distance. Um, it's a photo of not just one uh, FW 190, but several of them. And this, I believe, is the one flown by Priller. And I am inclined to believe that this right here, this little smudge, is the famous playing card with a heart, Ace of Hearts, uh, with the name Jutta, which is the German form of Judith, or Judy. And we can see here that Priller was not exactly Mr. Uh, you know, Imagination. I mean, uh, you put your girl's name on the side of your airplane, that's pretty traditional. So uh, he always had that playing card on there. You can see that they've cleaned this up. Uh, this area has been sprayed over, I think, with blue. And then they put in this, um, well, I'm going to call it a swoosh. They put in this black area to cover up the exhaust. There is a more famous and more widely known photo of uh, this aircraft. I believe it's this aircraft anyway. I don't have proof of that on me. <laughs> I left it in my other pants. <laughs> assuming that this is the same airplane um, there's another more famous photo and that other photo is the basis for uh, the Edward uh, markings in their kit and probably some others and uh, I don't doubt that Edward got it correct but uh, I wanted something different so here it is and uh, I think I clicked something that uh, threw off my uh, see what I did here. Threw off my magic. Nah, not too bad. Anyway, the point is, I wanted to make a little video where I explained something, showed what was going on with this model, and also how I pulled it out of the internet with a photo that was taken, taken somewhere in, in France back uh, 1943. So we end up with this. And uh, what I want to show you here is that there is a right way and a wrong way to attach the landing gear. And I'll bet you can guess what I'm going to say about the instructions. Usually the instruction sheet is wrong. Um, the Tamiya instruction sheet, you can get away with following Tamiya instruction sheets as a general rule. Because Tamiya's parts fit. But if you're making old, an old Heller kit, an old Rebel kit, an old Airfix kit, an old Frog kit, if you're building an old kit, you're, gonna, you're not going to want to do this. This is what the instructions here tell you to do. Um, they show you building the landing gear assembly. And then... Over here, 
you glue the landing gear assemblies to the wing. This is doing it the hard way. You're going to have nervous breakdowns, many nervous breakdowns. Look at me. I'm an example of this. Until I figured out how to do this properly, I probably had 40 or 50 nervous breakdowns. I don't recommend them. So let's get back over here and take a look at this and see what's going on. Oh, oh, what's up? What's up? Maybe I better... I better raise that camera up a little bit. I have taken the uh, the landing gear and I've glued the main strut to the wing. Just glued it into the wing. There's no tire. There's no door. It's just the strut. And that way Especially on something like this 190, which is very difficult to get the strut angle correct, even in the time of your kid. It's still difficult. You see these things put together all wrong pretty regularly. And the reason that happens is because there is a tremendous amount of difficulty getting the alignment correct. But if you get a picture, you get a, a drawing in this case, you can also use a photograph if you get the right kind of photograph and you can check the alignment of the strut. Check it, make sure it's right. Once you have the strut, usually there's a pin that goes in here. You want to trim that so that it fits in there. Put that strut in there. I tend to like using gel type super glue for this. You put that in there and let it set. Once you've got that, you've got a, a solid foundation you could build on. Then, once this is solid, you can put this support. In here, the support strut, right here. And how? How is it possible? I need I need a pointer. Yeah, okay. Um, you get this strut in here. You can also paint it at this time. It's easier to paint it now rather than paint it before. Once you get all this done, I painted it after it had all been assembled. I paint the gear door on the sprue. Is it going to let me do this? Is it going to focus? I don't know. There we go. I painted this on the sprue. It needs a little touch-up, but it looks okay. And the tires. You're going to have little nubbins of plastic that you'll have to trim off I use a nail trimmer big one that has a more or less straight jaw here not one that's curved in or something I don't know what that curve is supposed to mean I don't want to know I want this to be straight you get on here and you can just clip off those little nubbins no problem it's very easy to do it's a lot easier than trying to use a knife or some other uh, thing and probably easier than one of these clippers. Okay. That's basically all I wanted to say in this video. I'm going to glue these doors on. Well, first I'm going to glue the, the tires on, then I'm going to glue the doors on. If the doors don't fit, if they're too long, cut them off. What you want to do is you go to the door, you check it to see if it fits. If it absolutely cannot fit because for whatever reason there's a little bit of clearance it doesn't quite work out and this is too long you can just take mr friendly nut uh I almost said nut clipper to toenail clipper whatever you want to call this thing yeah, nut clipper what the heck <laughs> you can take this and you can just clip that off easy easy to whatever length you need That's a beginning anyway, <laughs> the beginning of a study of uh, assembling landing gears. Don't follow the instructions. Don't put all that complicated landing gear assembly together and then try to uh, attach that to the wing. You're just asking for yet another nervous breakdown. Okay, that'll do it for this short video. Do not do anything dangerous. Do not <laughs> don't hurt yourself out there. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time.